Hello and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for Crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mixed Media. Now one plugin that I find very, very useful is the Move Transition plugin. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you can use that in a couple of different ways to further enhance your streaming. So, if you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on that notifications button as well. This will allow you to be informed of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, so before we actually get into this video, if you haven't already done so, you will need to go and have a look at part 3, installing the Move Transition plugin before you can go any further and come back to this video. Okay, let's jump into OBS Studio and the first thing we're going to do is create ourselves a brand new scene. So click on the plus there on the scenes and we're going to name this one Anthony Lower Third. Now a lower third is a graphic that basically takes up the lower part of your screen. So it's a lower third part of your screen in fact. And like I say, it can be absolutely anything. We're then going to create a brand new source and we're going to click on the plus. We're going to go up to images which will then bring up this window. We want to name this one as well. And we're going to name that lower third. Okay, and then we're gonna go Anthony. So name everything um, as descriptive as you possibly can. We're then going to browse for an image. I've created this one in a graphics program. It's a PNG file, so it's got a transparent background. But as you can see, it doesn't fit my screen. So I'm going to right click on the image, go down to transform and then fit screen. You can also press control and F to do that. So right click on the name of the source that you want to be um, changing and then go down to the menus, click on filters. Once you're there, click on the plus and then go up to move source. Okay, we want to name this move source on screen and then click OK to confirm that one. We're then going to create another filter. So go on the plus again, go up to move source and then we're going to name this one off screen. So I think you can see where we're going with this. Okay, so what you need to do now is make sure that on screen is highlighted. Okay, so the source we're wanting to move is that image called Lower Third Anthony. The custom duration, we can leave that for the moment as also the end delay, the easing function and the, and the easing itself. All those just keep as is. The most important thing is to click on Get Transform. This will set the coordinates of where that graphic is on your screen. So visibility and order we do not need to change. Actions is the next one. So filter only enabled when moving, make sure that is ticked. Start trigger is none, not started automatic. Use a hotkey. Stop trigger is none only when the move is done or if the filter is disabled. Simultaneous move, leave that one as is. Next move, well that's where we want to change it to off screen. So that's where we want to change it. Next move on is move end. Then we need to go back up there and we want to click on off screen. So the source graphic is the lower third Anthony. We're just going to leave all of that at the moment. And then we want to go down to transform. This is the really important one. So I'm going to click on the main graphic that is behind that window. And then using my arrow keys, I'm just going to lower that graphic. And you can see there it is going off screen. So I'm using my arrow keys. Once that is off screen completely, click on get transform. That is now put in the new coordinates of where that graphic is on your screen. OK, so just make sure visibility and order exactly as you see it on my screen here. And then actions, make sure that's highlighted. Trigger, stop, simultaneous, next, all to none. And then next move on is move end. OK, once we've got to that part, we need to assign a hot key. So that's a key that you're going to press on your keyboard to make the graphic move. So go down to settings, which will bring up this window here, and then click on hot keys. OK, then scroll and find that scene. So there it is there, Anthony lower third, and we're going to assign a key to that movement. I'm going to press my zero key, so whenever I press zero, it will actually move the graphic. Apply, OK. Right, let's try that one out. So I'm pressing zero. There you can see it's actually jumping up and down, but it's a bit quick for my liking. So I'm going to click on on screen. I'm going to change the custom duration of that to 1000. Let's go and check that by pressing zero. And there we go. That's a lot slower, but it still goes off pretty quick. So I'm going to click on the off screen again and change that duration to 1000. Pressing zero on my keyboard on and off a lot slower, but it doesn't stay on very long. So I'm going to click on on screen. OK, and then we're going to go to end delay. OK, so let's just type in a large ish number. I'm going to go for 2500. 
okay and let's see I'm gonna press on zero on my keyboard there it goes on screen and then it goes off so that is absolutely perfect we have now assigned a hot key so let's just check that hot key press a zero it comes on we don't need to press anything else and it goes off so now we're going to use the move transition in a slightly different ways. So we're going to add a new scene. We're going to call it logo. We're going to add an image into there and we're going to go up there. And surprisingly, we're going to call this one MM logo, the mixed media logo we're going to use. I'm going to browse for that on my system. There it is. I'm going to resize it as I've shown you before in the past. I'm going to position it where I want it to be on my screen when I actually go live streaming. So now what we're going to do, we're actually going to copy all of those other elements from our Anthony Lower Third into our new logo. So I'm going to right click on the Anthony Lower Third, go down to Copy Filters and then over to Logo and Paste Filters. You'll see that those filters are already there on screen and off screen. They do have the wrong coordinates, so click on the on screen to start with and click on Get Transform. Click on Off Screen, OK, then move that graphic by using your keyboard again, OK like so so we've highlighted the graphic we've moved it and get the transform there we're going to assign a hotkey like we did before so this time we need to go down to logo there it is on screen we're going to press nine every time we press nine it comes on okay but at the moment it still goes off we don't want it to go off so what we're going to do there is go to none for next move and it will stay on our screen okay so that's how easy it is now to create a graphic that's going to stay on our screen okay so what we can then do we can take it off the screen if we so wish again go into hotkeys scroll down to logo and we will put in number eight so when we press eight it goes off screen and when we press nine it comes on screen OK, press close once everything is done and then just check those hotkeys. So it was nine to bring it on screen and click eight to take it off screen. So everything works absolutely perfectly. So we've got our two scenes there, but do you know what? They're not really any good on their own because there's no image behind it. So how do we incorporate what we've created there into something that's actually going to be usable? So maybe we want a video underneath or an image and we want to bring those two graphics so they actually come onto that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene. We're just going to call this one test for the moment. So we're going to add a source into our test scene. We're going to click on the plus, go up to image, but indeed it could be a video source. So in other words, your webcam, it can be absolutely anything. We're just going to be using an image for the moment. I'm just going to browse for an image that I want to use. I'm going to place that on the screen, click open, and I'm just going to resize that. Please check out my previous videos on how to actually resize an image. It is nice and easy. And then once you're actually happy with how you've got that image or indeed your webcam then just make sure that's padlocked so it doesn't move now at the moment each of our overlay graphics or our lower third there yeah they're great but you know what they're not working in conjunction with anything else so how do we incorporate that click on our test scene again then go down to the bottom click on plus and then go on scene now we're going to want to bring in our lower third so it's Anthony lower third and this is why I say it's always really good to name everything so click on that one click on OK now we have brought that scene into our test scene there it is as you can see it so now when I press on zero hey presto the lower third comes up and then it will go back down how do we bring that logo same again click on the test scene then click on adding a source to that which is another scene and of course that other scene is the logo so click on logo click on OK and then when you press the 9 it will bring it on screen and then if you should so wish you can then take it off by pressing the 8 so let's bring on our other graphic which is by pressing 0 which is the lower third and that's how easy it is to use hotkeys and move transition plugin in OBS Studio. Well, we've certainly got through loads in this video. If you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching.